everyone, here's me again. This time not from my room, but from the Pavli beach of the Croatian Sea. And this time, the video will be about sunscreens. I've talked about sunscreens on my blog and I've presented some of them to you already and I've talked about the experiences I've been having with them and the aim of this video is to show you some of the items I brought with me here and uh, for a period when I knew I was going to spend a lot of time uh, under the sun. So, let's see, I have three products for you and there are three different products and um, from also from the uh, SPF uh, point of view and, and from the consistency. So let me start with this one. This is the L'Oreal Soil Ex Expert Sensitive Expertise. Solar Expertise Sensitive. It's for, um, it's for mature skin, it says, but um, I'm using it because it has the uh, SPF 50. So this is really good for, the, for your face and it's anti-age and it's also for sensitive skin and the reason I've been using this one is because you have to have a big uh, SPF uh, for your face and um, I've been talking about this one that I've been using it under makeup but it's, it's leaving a white cast but in, in case of, of uh, staying in the sun you don't really use makeup uh, above it so I'm not really, I don't really care if it leaves a white cast or not so this is what I've been using on my face, at the beginning especially, and afterwards, uh, because I wanted to have my face also tan, I uh, switched to this other one that I've been using for also for the whole body. This is Gerovital Sun. Gerovital is, um, is this, this bio product. It comes from Romania. It's a patented, uh, really good brand that um, now it's, it's a really old brand that's been that's been hanging around for a lot of years, and they they're using natural uh, ingredients. So I picked these because I wanted to exclude paraben from my sunscreen, from my from my all my creams altogether, and this was one of the um, possibilities to exclude paraben. So this doesn't contain any paraben. It's um, it's organic, here it says that it has organic extracts and um, so this is something, I've been, oh it also has vitamin E and uh, antioxidants and it doesn't have paraben and oxybenzone or something like that so it, uh, it's um, a bioprotector so that was the reason why I picked this one I hardly have any left in it because I've used up almost everything, I've been using this on my body also. About the consistency, it's really good, it smells also really nice, and I also bought the after uh, sun uh, version also. So uh, I'm really happy with this one, but it kind of uh, ended, so I, I, I used up the product, and that's why I had to go for something else. Also, so far we had the 50, SPF 50, and we have the SPF 30. And uh, because I'm pretty tan now already, I went for an SPF 20. And this is a product that I haven't seen, it's something new. It's called uh, Clear Protect from Garnier Ambre Solaire. And uh, I found this is really good because it's, it's between an oil and a cream, so it's, it's not oily. It's not creamy. It's between the two, and it's this really clear. You can see it's this clear um, lotion kind of thing. So if you spray it on your skin, it's really non-greasy, and it, it, it really doesn't leave any marks. So you can see it. And it's really, it's really nice to apply it because you just uh, spray it on yourself, and, and you're done. You're ready to go. So that's why I really like this. And it also leaves this little shine, but it goes away really fast and it's non greasy so it's, it's totally cool. And it's uh, also very water resistant, and uh, also it um, yeah, it leaves no, no white marks, 
and oh it, it doesn't contain paraben that's what I wanted to say because I was looking for some paraben free product and you'd be amazed how many like well-known brands contain paraben all, all the Nivea products out there all the Garnier products that I others that I've been checking contain paraben and as far as I could read from this one it, this also has a lot of a lot of uh, funny ingredients in it unfortunately but I couldn't see the paraben in it so I was happy to pick this one. So uh, this is one of my personal favorites now so I would recommend this to buy. Uh, this one is also really good if you can get it but I'm not sure if you can get it. I think you can get it made in Hungary but I think that it's it. And then this one this you can get probably everywhere but don't use it under makeup. So that was my review. Thanks for watching and bye!